So let's take a closer look at the second step of the decision-making poster. When we think, we want to think about what in the decision-making process? That's right, we want a positive outcome. We have to think about all the options and the consequences of our decisions. How will it affect us? How will it affect others? These are very important things to think about and consider when making very complex and important decisions in our lives. Let's help a girl named Isabel think through the second step. On Friday night, Isabel's friend Jackie called her to invite her to go water skiing the next day with her family. Isabel already had plans to go to the community cleanup event with other friends on the same day. Isabel has to choose one of the activities. Isabel's options are to go to the community cleanup or go water skiing. The possible outcome in this situation would be to choose the best activity. Let's discuss the possible consequences of each option, keeping in mind that consequences can be positive or negative. Look at the next section in your workbook titled, Isabel's Options. List the possible negative and positive consequences of both Isabel's options. Then, check the option you believe is the best activity for Isabel to choose. Let's share our answers with the class. So, what are the possible negative consequences of going to the community cleanup? Why are Isabel is disappointed that she didn't go water skiing with her friend Jackie. Jackie is disappointed that Isabel chose the community cleanup over her, and so forth. What are the possible consequences of going to the community cleanup? Isabel honors her first commitment. She's proud she stuck with her original commitment. She has fun at the community cleanup with her other friends, and so forth. Excellent. What are the possible negative consequences of going water skiing? Isabel feels guilty about not going to the community cleanup. Her friends are disappointed because she didn't choose to go with them to the community cleanup, etc. What are the possible positive consequences of going water skiing. Isabel has fun water skiing with her friend Jackie. These friends are happy she chose to spend time with them. If you were Isabel and had to make the decision, what would you decide and why? Very good. So let's turn to page 7 of our student workbook titled What to Do and we're going to help make a decision together. As you reach into a cupboard for a glass, you accidentally knock your mom's favorite serving bowl onto the counter. The bowl breaks into three pieces. You quickly look around and realize that no one saw what happened. The positive outcome for the situation would be to do the right thing. What do you do? Now write two possible outcomes for your decision and the consequences for each. Now let's write two possible consequences of your decision and the negative consequences and positive consequences for each. Put a check mark next to the positive choice. How many of us would tell our mom what happened? How many would fix the bowl and not even tell your mother that it happened at all? What are the possible consequences of doing this? Now, who would blame somebody else, like a brother or sister, for that accident? What are the possible positive and negative consequences of that action? You did a very good job. The decision-making poster will help us practice making good decisions. When you stop and think about the actions you're about to make, you are more likely to make positive outcomes and better decisions.